Okay, wow. Um, listen, I do get some kind of a strong impression here. It might be... I think people are gonna like that. Can you hold this for me, Ross, for a second? Yeah. Carmen, can you please open your eyes for me? Yes. Did you feel an imaginary touch when I asked you to really concentrate and feel it? Yes. Wow. Can you please show everybody where you felt that touch? <laughs> I, the, the last time I actually didn't... You didn't feel it, right? It was only in your imagination. That was supposed to be uh -huh. it. Tell us where, where, where it happened in your imagination. <laughs> this is... I, I have to be clean about this, right? Okay. <laughs> My chest. <clears throat> I like that. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to tell you something crazy. Are you ready? I never touched you in my life, Carmen. Never. You see, when I told you to close your eyes, I was sliding my finger on my forehead. You felt my finger sliding on your forehead. Never yeah, touched you. Much. Listen to me, Carmen. When I told you I'm going to tickle you, I was actually tickling yeah. Ross right here. Everybody saw that you started smiling because you felt that tickle. Then I told Ross, touch yourself, not her. He was touching his yeah, nose 10 me. feet away. Watch this monitor. You'll see how he's touching his nose. Watch oh, this. And you felt that touch. And finally, I told you to simply imagine <laughs> as if someone is touching you. Just imagine it. Can you show everybody what I wrote down? Oh my God, I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't do that. That's good. I did it. I touched myself. You're amazing. Thank you so much. I have chills. I'm sorry, thank you. That was really cool. That was wonderful. Plus, thank, thank you so God. much. Thank Guys, so that's much. just to prove to you all how connected we really are. Just something to think about. Hey, Hood. Thank you so much. I'm sure you can see very clearly at home when I was just a few feet away. That is absolutely amazing. Thank I don't you so much. quite know how you could do it. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. I was so, I'm telling you, I'm so happy it worked just the way I planned it. Carmen, you're, you're talking about it now. You can see that physically nobody touched you, but did you feel a pressure? I'm, I didn't feel pressure. It just felt very light, you know, just sort of a light. Well, maybe there is some kind of, of chemistry there. You should explore it later on. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Yes. Chris, you were sitting there watching this whole performance. Why what did you want, think? I want to say before I comment and assess your uh, performance that uh, the producers asked me to be brutally honest, okay? And because of my love, for mentalism, for the fans that are watching this all throughout the country, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I just don't want it to be misconstrued as me taking shots and dissing people because I'm probably more criti critical about my own performances than I'll ever be about any of the contestants here. I thought you have a decent stage persona. I thought you looked like you had fun doing what you did. Uh, I just didn't feel that you were 100% committed to who you are in your mind, meaning that it didn't come beyond the bar. And I think you're setting the standard of what that bar is right now for the other performers. Your PK touch routine as a magician was average. Uh, I'm also a good friend and work with Banachek, who is one of the creators of that concept. So I, I'd like to see you come back next week, push your envelope as a, as a performer. And Uri, I, think I you're can see that you've made notes things. there. We're gonna have to stop you, Chris. What was your thoughts? Look, Eud, um, you're brilliant thought transference between Carmen and Ross made me believe that you have a power to manipulate mind energy at your will. I thought your act was very interesting. Very interesting. Well, remember, you decide who becomes the phenomenon. If you think it's Ehud, call one 345 Zero one, or log on to our website at NBC.com. You can vote up to 10 times by phone and 10 times by web. Voting starts at the end of the show. Still to come, meet this danger-loving psychic madman who believes pain is all in the mind. Jim Carroll performs next. We'll be right back. This is Phenomenon. We're live, and our next competitor says he can conquer pain by using the power of his mind. Meet Jim Carroll.
I'm just a regular guy that happens to be blessed with a, an ability that I have no idea where it comes from. Probably one of the weirdest things that ever happened to me is I had a dream of a lottery number and it came true. In the dream, phone rang and the voice goes, Jim, you were right. The Pennsylvania daily number was 222 December 22nd. And sure enough, on December 22nd, the number came up. I don't know how I do any of this stuff. I really, truly, truly don't. I'm just a schmuck steel worker laid off like everybody else. When I when I do things that are dangerous and it's an exercise of mind over matter for me. For some reason, I don't feel pain. I don't know how I do what I do. It scares the hell out of me. Yeah, it freaks me out. Jim is about to take a major risk right now. A word of warning, what you're about to see, please do not try this ever. Here to face pain head on, it's Jim Carroll. Hi everybody, I'm just a regular guy who had an opportunity to learn a lot of extraordinary things over the years. I'd like to show you the one that earned me the nickname Psychic Bandman. Ross and Rachel, can you help me out? Have a nice hand for Ross and Rachel, everybody. Come on, ladies. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Rachel, you can stand right there. Here's some protective eyewear. And Ross, how you doing, buddy? I'm great, thank There's you. Here's some how are you? eyewear for you. You can thank stand you. right this here. This is already freaking me no, out. No, this is going to be a lot of fun, Ross. <laughs> oh, my this, God. This is a fox trap. <laughs> Ross, hold your finger out like no. that. No! We have to show the audience that it's definitely real. Tell them, is that a, I'm not going to say it, just feel oh the God. pressure. Oh definitely. my God, yes, it's okay. real! See, because a lot of people... All right, get I, it I, off. A lot of people might think it's not real. They might That's think real. they're in on this. So just to that prove... Hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry, Just sir. to prove it is a real trap, Ross, watch. We're going to set it like this. Now you have your eyewear on. Now step back like this. Ross, this pencil yeah. is about the same thickness as the bone in your finger. Yeah. Watch. Oh okay. my God! Here's what's going to happen. Ross is actually going to stick his fingers in this trap right here, right now. Let's hear it for Ross, everybody. All right. Let's hear it. Hey. You're funny. Don't worry, Ross. We're not going to use this. Okay, good. This is a really big show, so we got to use a really big trap. <laughs> this is an actual Alaskan wolf trap or a small bear trap. Now, Ross, come a little closer. No. Let's show. I'm not going to hurt you. Come here. Listen, listen, listen. It's definitely real. That's real. Right? Here's the deal. Ross, you're going to set the trap with me. Okay. At the same time, Rachel, I'd like you to walk around and just write the name of any celebrity on that board right over here. Okay. There's some markers there. You ready, Ross? Here we go. What do I do? Just step on these two things. I'll help you. Step right here. Step here? Yep. And just real close, right up oh. to the top. And hold on to me. Whoa, I right lost weight. Right, that's so all right. I, I can tell. I can tell. Now, take a step back okay. right now. Be all careful. Right. I, I, will. I will. Okay. Okay. It's Stop done. It freaks me out when you... Woo. Okay. Oh, you're ready, Ross! Uh -huh. All right, here we go. Now, come here. No, oh, I okay. you'll be okay. all right. Trust me. Do you trust all me? Right. Well, I just met you, but all go right, for okay. it. Stand right. What hand do you use the most, right or left? My right. And we use your left hand. All right, no. give me your left. You'll be all right. What are you doing? You'll be all right, trust me. You're just, out of your mind. Come here, you'll be all right. Just here. Come this here. was not in my... I, I know, don't worry. I'm not going to put it in. All right. I, I'm just kidding. All right, now watch. Right. Repeat after me. Jim Carroll! Get off my hand! <laughs> Aren't you going to do the trick? Just, I'll just stand just here. Just close your eyes. I'll put it in. You won't feel a thing. I don't want to. All right, to here we go. One. No. You'll be all right. Repeat after me, Jim Carroll. You're out of your mind. Jim Carroll. Jim Carroll. The Psychic Madman. Psychic Madman. And NBC. NBC. Are not responsible. Uh, I'm just kidding. Oh my God. I'm really not going to. I thought it. you were going to do it. I, I was going to do it with you. Uh, oh my God. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> now. Ross, if you were to put your hand in that trap right yeah. now, it would probably break your bones. Well, then let's not do that. So I'll do it instead. Here we go. Are you serious? A lot of people ask, how do I do this? To be honest with you, Ross, I don't know myself. But I do know this. If you concentrate on that celebrity right now, I will become so focused that I won't feel anything. No emotion, no pain. And we'll do the trap. Here we go. Come close. Watch me. I'm uh -huh. Here we go. Are you ready? One. Two. Two and a half! Sorry, I won't talk. All right. Now, you know what, Ross? I'm going to do something really special. Live television. Tonight, I'm going to catch the trap, not on my hand, but on my fingers. Are you ready? Yes. Concentrate on that celebrity. Here we go. One, two. No pain. No pain. And your celebrity is Jeff Goldblum. Show it to everybody. You turn that... Jeff Goldblum! Oh, I can't breathe through that here! Unbelievable! 